Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Thursday, October 13th, 2022 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I nurture little pockets of harmony as I find them in my world. Um, so this is just about like you're in your garden, you know, puttering around and you're like, oh, it feels so good. Just nurture that moment or outside in nature. Why is it always outside? In a library in a grocery store, wherever you are, that you find that moment of like contentment, nurture that, <laughs> nurture that. All right, so today we have Venus doing a lot of work. I feel like Venus has been doing a lot of connections for the last few days, and it makes sense. We do, it is Libra season, um, and we work, are working a lot with relationships, harmony, values. Um, the main connection today that is pulling my attention is a connection between Venus and Uranus in an inconjunct. So inconjuncts, astrologically, we're not seeing eye to eye. We're not really sure how to work together. Now this inconjunct is so interesting to me because Libra and Taurus are ruled by Venus. Um, and both can deal with worth and values, and both like beautiful things, but a lot of times, there's a difference in values between what Libra values and what Taurus values. And I think we find this a lot in the world too, right? Like you have your values and you have a good friend and you think that your values line up and then they say something that's so shocking to you. I think we've all been here at some point. So shocking to you like, oh, our values really don't line up. Um, and I don't think that's actually the case. I think when it comes down to the basis of values, I actually think we are a lot more similar than we are different. Like I do feel like biologically, there is a value of safety that we all have. But some will place that safety in God. Some will place that safety in money. Some will place that safety in their body. Some will place that safety in somebody else, right? There's so many places where we can place that value. And I think that might be the case today where we have some like, oh, that's what you value? And because we hold our own values so strongly, which is good, I think it's really good to honor our own values. This can cause a little friction, a little tension. You may not feel like you're being valued by somebody. You may not Feel like you are being of value to somebody in some way the values the exchange of energy is gonna feel off in this um, and this is where it's really important to remember again we have different ways of expressing like or similar values and it's okay it's okay for you to value your way of valuing things it's okay for others to value their way of valuing things. And I think the more that we become okay and we become allowing with where people are at in their process, recognizing there are so many layers that do contribute to why we do what we do, right? <laughs> Including our astrological charts and our ancestral bases and our how we were raised nature and nurture right there's so many layers that feed into this including I think just basic karmic lessons that at some point it's like okay you value your safety this way I'm gonna value my safety this way All right but just keep that in mind because again this energy you're gonna feel this rub somehow somehow this worth this value thing it might be close relationships it may be wider more distant relationships but this energy is up for sure and that can feel uncomfortable and I think if we can make comfort or make ourselves comfortable in allowing find harmony in allowing same but different <laughs> different but same just different I think we could all make some pretty cosmic leaps. Um, Venus, doing the hard work today, is also going to be connecting to Saturn. Um, this is a trine. And again, it's feeling like there's some value stuff. Saturn and Aquarius can be, <laughs> if we bring it about in different ways, valuing our vibration in the world, valuing our frequency in the world, valuing our place in the world, knowing that our place in the world has value. Now, while this is a harmonious connection and can bring about a lot of other energies, um, 
so often, this is one of those similar but different things. So often I get clients who are like, I don't feel like I belong here on this planet. Like a good, I would say at least 75% of my clients will say things like that. Or I'm definitely not coming back here. <laughs> I hear that a lot too. Um, again, it's that sense of this not being home, not really belonging. And yet, at this time, in this moment, you being here is so divinely orchestrated and so needed. And so remembering that. You are needed here. You were chosen to come here. Maybe by many, but at least by the universe, you were chosen to be here. Keeping that in mind, keeping the value of you, the value of your frequency on this planet, the value of you bringing your whole talent, your frequency is your talent. Your frequency is your gift. So the value of that on this planet, chef kiss, right? <laughs> it's so important. <laughs> Thank you, universe. Um, let's see. Besides that, definitely have some strong air energy going on. I don't know if you felt it come in, um, but moon moving through Gemini is making the rest of the connections. So all three air signs are super activated right now. They already were, but the moon just takes it to another level. We've got Venus in the sun in Libra. We've got Saturn in Aquarius and the moon and Mars hanging out in Gemini. Um, I was looking to see when the moon and Mars actually collide. That'll be later in the evening on Friday. But in this connection, it can be hard to get grounded. The brain can get really talky. Watch which direction your mind is going. I will say Luce was sick and I woke up at four in the morning on, I guess this is Wednesday when I'm speaking, four in the morning, <laughs> uh, just freaking out, <laughs> freaking out about her being sick and going in the worst possible directions with the mind. So we can definitely go that way you know, tornado this way, we can also spiral up. We can use this energy in a very positive, creative fashion as well. The moon kicks off the day connecting to Jupiter and Aries. So this energy can be a fire tornado. It can spur our passions and frustrations, but it can also spur creative inspiration to help drive us forward with like inspiration. Like, yes, this is an idea. I want to take hold of this idea and move forward with that. So keep that in mind. That energy is driving us today and the moon and Mercury are connecting. So sharing this idea with a friend who's also like driven may really produce actual momentum, <laughs> actual momentum with this. So there's some really positive energy with that, but don't get too lost in the crosshairs of the value and worth stuff. Um, let's look at these cards. Projections. This is definitely something that can come up with all the air energy, all the mental energy, old projections, new projections, feeling it in the air, feeling it in the atmosphere. Clear. Clear regularly. Um, I'm seeing in my mind's eye, what are those things called? I don't know. I can't remember, but those little handheld vacuums, like legit doing that to your aura because the auras are feeling very dusty from all of this air energy. I wish I could send you the pictures of my mind. Um, the mind may also pick up a lot. I have the stress card. So again, we might go into those, you know, some of those spirals. In this card, it's recognizing what you need to put down, where you are carrying so much. This card's also take your monkey for a walk. Take your mind for a walk. Get back into nature so you can find those little pockets of harmony that remind you of what that balance feels like within yourself. Sun card, innocence card. So a lot of good here for us too. Again, we got some nature supporting us. Go find a mantis. Is this a mantis? I think it is or grasshopper <laughs> to support your processing. Um, participation. We don't have any strong Virgo working us today, but this is the card of body, mind, spirit, soul, and heart. And so harmonizing might be about connecting to those other pieces before the spiral takes you gone with the wind, right? So, and breathing was my best friend this morning. Like I tried to distract myself with all kinds of things, 
when I finally did settle into my body and breathe and look at Luce and I was like, she's okay right now. She's going to the vet in a little while. She'll be okay. I was okay when I wasn't busy spiraling it in my mind. So leaving that there for today. <laughs> that's an understatement according to Jill. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, Eclipse reading is available. Email me for that. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and honor your values. Namaste.